Hello, this is Jeremy from MississippiMixing.com. Today I will be showing you how I set up my click tracks. I usually don't use the stock metronomes that comes with Logic, but I gravitate more towards the drum loop with the kicks on one and three and the snare on two and four. I hope this video will be helpful to you. Um, so to begin with, this is how I set it up. I usually begin by grabbing a standard keyboard drum set and then if you look down here, I have my tempo set to 120. I got my time signature set to 4-4. And then I will turn my click on. Go up here, and I will uh, usually hit enter, which put my playhead back at, back at uh, zero. And then I'll play it in. Uh, due to a little bit of latency problems today, I um, uh, just went ahead and recorded these but uh, didn't do any processing to them or anything so I'm going to show you how it came out so this is what I ended up with for my first uh, first try I'm going to go ahead and hit play now it's not exactly with, exactly with the uh, metronome so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit P that's going to pull up my piano roll. Notice all these are already selected. And I'm going to come over here and make sure eighth note is uh, selected on my quantize menu. And I'm going to hit the letter Q, which will snap everything to the grid. So here we go. Now that everything is in time, sounds great. Uh, I'll go ahead and hit P again, get rid of that. Now usually on the first pass, I always go ahead and just use a... a kick in the snare and get that set and then I'll come up here and click on the uh, the track and I'll hit command D which will duplicate my track and then I'll come then I'll go ahead and add the uh, hi-hat so since I already have that I'm gonna hit command Z to get rid of that track that I just did I'm gonna unmute this and let you hear what it sounds like with the hi-hats that I put in all right not necessarily in time, so we're going to do the same thing. Hit P to bring up the piano window, uh, a piano roll, and hit Q, which should snap everything back to the eighth notes. Wonderful. Everything is in time. Sounds great. Uh, then I'll select both of them and hit Command J, which will make these two join together, letting me get rid of this last one. All right, and I just drag this over here to uh, the beginning of the song. I will hit L, and what the L does is it's going to uh, allow the the uh, track to loop all the way to the end of the song. Last thing that I like to do is uh, give it a very bright color and name it Click Track. And that's it. I hope the video was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, uh, please feel free to shoot me an email at mississippimixing at gmail.com. Till next time, keep those mics working hard.